Hi, my name's Jim McCarthy, I'm here today to talk about graphic novel Eminem In My Skin, written by myself and Barnaby Legg, illustrated by Flameboy and published by Omnibus Press. Eminem, the Eminem graphic novel, is quite a difficult one to research. At that time, it was there was, I think, one book out, The Dark Side of Eminem by Nick Hasted, who also wrote the foreword for the book. And um, I believe Eminem, a.k.a. Marshall Mathers, a.k.a. Slim Shady, is actually a comic fan himself. So I think our approach to the book was very much about he was going to be a comic character going through a series of vignettes in his own life, in various stages of his own life, some of them based on reality, and some of them imagined stories that we made up ourselves to kind of augment his life. The Eight Mile film that he appeared in um, was a really good film, actually. I thought that was a wonderful bit of work. And... Uh, that was based on his life, although he wasn't playing himself in his life, but it was very close to his life. I thought that was actually a good research tool. At first, when I heard of, you know, White Rapper, I thought, my God, it's not going to be another kind of vanilla ice kind of scene. But actually, he seemed to take rap and bring out a very kind of, I hate to use the word, it sounds very pretentious, kind of literary aspect to it. But he seemed to inject a certain kind of storytelling finesse into it that I thought in sometimes didn't it lacked in, in, in a lot of ways. I think having Dr. Dre as a collaborator was a really important thing, particularly early on with um, with Eminem. And I think some of the pages that I found more successful in the book was uh, a page where actually Dr. Dre is actually inventing his own creation, which is a kind of Frankenstein version of Eminem. And this page here, I think the artwork really shows that that really well where he's kind of helping his creation out of a vat of fluids that he's put together in a laboratory and uh, you know the Frankenstein aspect of it I think is quite a good corollary for created rock stars in the industry. It's funny all these years later that actually Detroit's gone completely bankrupt but even back then in the M&M early stages of his career the city itself which is very much a part of the book was itself on on the skids, um, large areas of it very uninhabited, uninhabitable, houses deteriorating, factories deteriorating, the great car companies had all moved out of Detroit, or there was very little engineering left. Motown had left some way before this in the uh, in the early seventies, the very early nineteen seventies. So the town itself, the backdrop to Eminem's life, had become a a symbol of American post-empire defeat really a city very much in decline and eventually now as we said all, all gone bankrupt some of the artwork lends itself very much to the hip-hop culture and Eminem's different stages of his life in terms of alter egos and in pages in the book the artwork is very very exaggerated so it'll go from a kind of semi-realistic style almost to a very cartoon style within the same couple of pages and I think Flame Boy did a very good job with that. This interior artwork here showing Eminem on stage in his then garb as a mixture of Jason from Friday the 13th and Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was our original mooted front cover for the book. But actually that morphed into this image, which I think generally is probably a lot stronger. Again, retaining those visual elements, but I think it's a much stronger cover.